Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. Um, we're going to start now, but let's see who is here. So uh, I can see some of you are connected now. Okay, let's see. Um, here we have Maho. Good evening, Maho. Good evening. How was your day? Mm, right now I feel tired, but it's almost Friday. Yeah, tomorrow, Friday, remember. Yes. Well, you don't work tomorrow. Uh, you don't work on Saturday, right? Yes, on um, the yes. middle day. You do until midday. Okay, at so midday. you finish at noon, right? Yes. Yes, okay. That's it. Good. Well... It's nice because if you, you can do some things in the afternoon, right? Taking advantage of the time. Or you can go and rest. Yes. Thank you, Majo. What about Roberto? Hello, Robert. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay. How was your day? Tell me. Everything in order? Okay? Everything okay. That's nice. No problem. Okay. I guess uh, these days are like calm right are quiet in comparison to the to september maybe right or or october and at the moment we are teaching for the students uh that are coming the next year or no reinforce refuerzo. Reinforce. <laughs> no sé yes reinforcement yes. and it is the students that have like low grades so you are giving more Explanation, exercises, yeah, homework. So, yeah, I can. There imagine. is a lot of students and it's so hard. Yes, it's Each hard. Day. Okay. But come on, December is coming, Roberto. And then just cumbia and pan con pollo. Okay. That's it. Thank you, Robert. Very nice. Freddy's. Hello, Freddy's. Hello, teacher. How are you feeling? How are you doing? Okay. So far, so good. So yes. Far. Hard work. I know it's hard. What time do you finish your your work, your job? Um, at four, at five, at six. Five at five. at five. Okay, yeah, okay. I can imagine, but even sometimes the traffic or the time that uh, it takes you from your job to your house, it is kind of tiring. Mm -hmm. Thank you, friends. Is... Okay, thank you. No, tell me. What, you were going to say something. Mm -hmm. Is difficult um, or what? No, no difficult is uh, one hour. Ah, one hour. Okay, yes, it's acceptable. Mm -hmm. One hour is acceptable. There are people who take like three hours or two hours from their house to their job. Yeah, it's tiring. It's hard, okay. Yeah, even one hour is difficult, but some other people... More or less, more or menos. More or less. Okay, yeah. Okay, nice, Fredis. Okay, here we have some mother. What about... Okay, Luis Eduardo is oyente. Who else? I don't know. I I couldn't... I couldn't check on WhatsApp who, who mentioned that was going to be a listener because I don't have your... I uh, I don't know what numbers belong to you to each one of you because in the nickname or in the description of your profile it doesn't appear a uh, a name just Edward Edward says yo igual gracias but the other is letter B and the other it's it's like a sign. Entonces, eh, es difícil cuando ustedes me dicen en WhatsApp, voy de camino y todo, y, o mm, estaré de oyente, no sé quiénes son, a menos que tenga descripción en su WhatsApp. That's why I ask you to eh, say it here in Zoom. Por eso prefiero que lo digan aquí en Zoom, porque en WhatsApp no los tengo, ¿verdad? Entonces, y como ahí aparecen unos, unos signos bien raros, no todos tienen como un nombre, ¿verdad? Entonces, no sé, I don't know who are you. But, okay. Let's see, um, here we have also Brandon, right? Hello, Brandon. 
I don't know if you are there. Hello, teacher. Okay, everything okay? Yes. Okay. okay nice. Perfect, Brandon. Okay, here we have some other participants like Miguel, Roxana, uh, okay, Ernest, and Denise. Okay. So, nice. Let's start with the... Now, we have class number 11, okay? Uh, let's see, this is the class number four with me, right? Uh, because with the previous teacher, with the former teacher, you studied like seven classes, okay? Uh, with me, uh, you are having like four classes. This is the number four, okay? So, staff meetings, practice, okay? Class number four, intermediate one. Hello, Albert. Tell me. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Uh... Apagaré la cámara porque te lo digo bien cortado, no se me escucha usted a mí. Ok, yes, I can hear you. Um, te escucho bien, Thank ok. You. Pero si, si sientes, if you notice that you have difficulties, eh, turn off your camera. Apaga la cámara si sientes que tienen dificultades, ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok, thank you to you, my friends. Ok, let's see. Eh, here we have ways to say thank you. Okay, ways to say thank you. And this can be applied, especially when there are some festivities, when is your birthday, when you receive a present, or when, because there are some small or short favors in which you say, thank you, thank you. But when a person does something important to you or, or gives you something or make something special in that case you can say thank you in different forms for example i really appreciate it appreciate it como que esta te vuelve ere i really appreciate it i owe you one i'm in your death you make my day thanks a bunch you're the best thanks a million thanks so much Okay, um, so I really appreciate, realmente lo aprecio, I owe you one, te debo una, I owe you, owe, owe you one, como decir la letra O, O, I owe you one, I'm in your debt, estoy en deuda, you make my day, hiciste mi día, thanks a bunch, como que muchas gracias, you're the best, thanks a million, thanks a bunch. In my opinion, my favorite phrases are, I really appreciate it, and Thanks so much. Even thanks a million. It's it's like very nice. But of course, you can use different forms, okay, to express that you say thank you, that you are happy, and there is another form to to be polite. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance list. So remember that when I call you, say hi, hello, good evening, and after that, uh, you can mention one of these phrases okay uh, Alex Enoch is like moving right I know he's traveling so I don't know if Ana Raquel is there Ana present hello thank you okay one of these phrases una de estas frases Raquel Ok, no hay problema, no hay problema, pero por eso les digo que me avisen, please. porque eh, en el WhatsApp no siempre aparecen sus nombres, pero ahorita te pongo acá que vas de camino, ok, me avisas cuando ya puedas participar, you tell me when you are going to, to participate, ok, and we go with Vicky is as listener, right? Let's see, yes. Okay, no problem, Vicky. Because you always participate, I know. Brandon, hi, Brandon. Hi, teacher present. Hello. I owe you one. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Denise, uh, hi. Hello, thanks a million. Okay, thank you.
Okay, you have some difficulties, then it's okay, no problem. Yes, okay. teacher. I'm sorry. Okay, I know, I know. Thank you. Uh, what about Freddy's? Okay, my friend. Hi there. Present teacher, I owe you one. Okay. I owe you one. Good. Albert? Okay, Alberto. Present teacher, thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Good. What about Ernest? Present teacher, you're Hi. the best. Thank you. Very nice. Luis is listener. Uh, Majo, are you there, Majo? Yes, present. Uh, thanks a bunch. Good one. Uh, Maritza, I guess no, right? No, Maritza. Okay. Uh, Miguel, hi. Present teacher. Thank you. You make my day. Good. Uh, what about Morelia? Hello. I hi. really appreciate it. Thank you. And do we have Nancy? Carolina? No, Nancy. Okay. Oscar? Mm, no, right? Uh, Roberto? Okay, Robert. Hi. Present teacher, I really appreciate it. Very nice. Uh, Roxana? I guess. Good morning, Roxana. teacher. Thank you. Thanks Hi. so much. Very nice, Roxana. Okay, here we have uh, participants, and let's see uh, if we go with the first question. It is like very out of common, right? Because maybe we have thought about this, but um, let's see. If you could ask God what, any question, what would it be? Um, remember that we, we have like different periods of your time in which maybe you suffer or you you used to think that something was not fair or you want to have some doubts or you want to know. You simply want to know things, okay? So I will be waiting for you in the chat. Please write the question. What could it be that question? Imagine, God, I know it is something hypothetical, okay? It is something in our imagination. It is not that God is going to be there tomorrow as a person and says, okay, Freddy, I'm going to answer your question. No, it's like, let's imagine. Let's imagine, okay? Write in the chat your question and we're going to read all of them. Okay, now let's see. We have some examples. Uh, we're going to start 
Well, I don't know if Denise can participate. If you can't, Denise, I can read your question, okay? Yes, teacher. I'm going to be in class just one hour. Then at, oh. at night, So you, you can participate <laughs> now? Yes, yes. Okay, Thank please. You. Okay, read yours. And then Freddy's. Okay, my question is not a deep question. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I would like to know if there is a life in another planet, because I think our planet is really, it's really small compared to the entire universe. Yes, because we belong to one galaxy and there's, well, there's yes. a theory that there are more we are, in this space. Yep. Yes, yes we, are, we are so tiny <laughs> yeah. compared to the whole universe. Definitely it is. So it is a very interesting question. I would like to know with evidence or certainly uh, in like in real because we have some theories but yeah it could be like really nice to know it thank you denise predis and then morelli yes this... I would ask him why he treated people with free will because the people destroy each other. Okay. Um, free will is something that we have and that appears in the Bible, right? And there are a lot of bad, bad events and people with bad intentions. Right, so that's that's why you are saying this, right, eh, Fredis? People destroy each other mm -hmm. in collective or one to one, right? Or even destroy people and destroy the planet, right? Because of because... carp. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Good, interesting question. And we go now with Morelia and then Ernest. Okay, Morelia. I could ask him why this family and what why this life and what is the the lesson the lesson here. Okay, what is the lesson? Okay, interesting. And why this life and why this family? Why not uh, to have another life or or family? Is there a reason? Right, Morelia. And you would like to know that reason? Yes, I would like to know the reason to be here. You you sound like very uh, philosophical. You are thinking about different alternatives like this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Nice, Morelia. But your question, it's like, sounds like Buddhist, like something like, if there are some some other spiritual beliefs, right? Because uh, there are some reincarnation or rebirth. Yeah, and some people think about that, and it's interesting, right? Okay. Yes, so. I think so. Nice, Morelia. Thank you, Ernest, and then Maho. Hi. If I could. <clears throat> My question for for God is, how do you feel fear sometimes? Mm -hmm. How do you feel fear sometimes? Um, yeah, well, I have not read the Bible completely. I don't know if you have, but we have a lot of knowledge in there. And if I consider that the Bible is a guide more than some other things, but there are important information. But yeah, maybe we would like to know more about God, about not his or, or well, or the personality of God, but like some other things, as you say. Have you ever felt fear sometime? Okay. Thank you. Majo and Robert. Okay. Uh, does the reincarnation really exist? And what is the purpose of eternal life? Okay, two questions. Um, Maho wants to know more things. I know that you have more questions. 
Yes, a lot of questions again. <laughs> a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Wow. Um, reincarnation really exists. It is something that we have an idea, and there are a lot of people that think about this. Uh, I'm not saying uh, yes or no because everybody has its own beliefs, and that's good. And I I like to respect that. But yeah, I would like to know about reincarnation. I would like to know because I have read a lot of books and about spiritual uh, beliefs related to our ancestors, the pre-Hispanic times and all those things that I, I really love. So it is like I have ideas about it. So I would like to know. And what is the purpose of eternal life? Yeah, interesting. Thank you, Maho. Robert and then Roxana. Okay, hey, Robert. Okay, hey, teacher. Uh, I will ask him if I have been a good Christian and if I have followed his teachings. I will also ask him what advice he will give me to be a good Christian. Thank you. Uh, well, that, let... because, that because I'm not sure of that. And we all, we all believe that we are a good person. But I, th I think uh, only God knows the truth. Yeah, he knows. He knows, right? But as you, as you mentioned, it is good to have like parameters or standards from him or from God. I'm not saying that. Well, from God. Parameters or ideas. Uh, am I doing good? Am I following your teachings? Okay. Am I a good person? Yeah. Could it be right? Because we want to be good people, good good person, to belong to the good people, right? Doing good things. So definitely interesting. Thank you, uh, Roxana and Albert. Okay, teacher. I would like ask why many good people die. Mm -hmm. I guess we have seen a. Uh, natural natural diseases como desastres naturales no son desastres naturales but yeah let's yes. call them like this violence accidents a lot of uh, yes and good people die I have yes. no good people and you say why these people die and the other negative people or no. violent people they don't die or yes. why good people ha are ill and violent people are are healthy. Why some of them are in the hospitals and some others? So it is like a very a very wide question. Una pregunta muy amplia. Thank you. Yes. Okay. I like it. Uh, Albert and then Miguel. Okay, mm -hmm. Because you have given me the blessing. Of being able to speak, listen, feel, look, and uh, appreciate your infinite love. Okay, that's nice. Maybe I can change something. For example, why have you given me the blessing? Okay, to able to speak. Yeah, because you can be in some other situation in another state and you are healthy, you have your complete body, and you are able to do a lot of things. Okay, thank you. Miguel, please, you go. Okay. Uh, my question for Gal will be this. I will say, Lord, you created for your glory, and yet we turn our backs on you, and you have mercy every day. On each, on bus, I don't understand, but at the same time, yes, it was your tent, and with great love, you are still there because you forgot me. If okay. the one failure was me. Okay, very interesting. I would like to take some of the phrases that you mentioned. For example, I don't understand. And maybe that, that, well, not maybe, there are a lot of action, things that happen and we see and we don't understand. We say, why? But what is, right? So there are reasons, but as Majo and some other participants were, were saying, 
we don't know, right? Okay, thank you. And this question, well, all of these questions remember me or remind me also one song from George Harrison that it is called My Sweet Lord. I don't know if you have heard about that song, but I strongly recommend that song. It's a good one. Uh, it is called My Sweet Lord, George Harrison, good song. I hope or I consider that you will like it. Okay. Um, thank you for all your participations. Remember that all your points of view are important to me and to all your classmates. And we respect the beliefs and the ideas of each one. Okay, let's go with this. Remember, we were starting five steps, right? When we handle difficult situations, customers that complain, violent or rude uh, clients or customers. So here we have this instruction. Do you ever meet difficult customers? Choose one of the situations below and list and describe five steps that you could use to deal with the difficult customer. Then present your process to the class. Okay, we're going to work in teams, okay? Here we have five situations, five different contexts, okay? Number one, a customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. Number one. Number two, a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. So in this case, number two, maybe you're a supervisor or, or a manager, right? Because it says a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees, okay? Even number one, a customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. It could be applied if, you're, if you are a coordinator as well. Number three. A customer says he found a toothpick in his food and that he will not pay for that food, okay? So maybe it could be applied for a restaurant. Number four, a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. Number four is for calling. When a person is calling, so yeah, imagine wrong delivery order. And number five, a group of customers are getting upset. Getting upset is getting angry because the cashier is too slow. Imagine, for example, in some supermarkets, could it be in some other stores in which there are customer clients, but the cashier is taking the money, is receiving the money and all this, but she or he is too slow. So. I'm not going to assign any of these topics. I would like you, you to select your topic. Okay? So I will need I will need that some of you please take a screenshot and send it to WhatsApp. I'm going to um order the breakout rooms. You're going to work in, in teams and you select one of these situations. Number one. Number two, okay, describe five steps. It, those steps can be the same as yesterday or those steps can be if, in, in your opinion. You can invent your steps. Five things or five actions that you will do to make a solution, okay? Hay que como solucionar estas situaciones. Vamos a presentar cinco soluciones. Pueden ser lo ideal, the ideal would be steps, like in, in coordination, como en orden, cinco pasos a seguir. You can base your answers on the text from yesterday. Pueden basar su respuesta en el texto de, de ayer. Okay, remember that we started this. Eh, por eso les digo que, that's why I say that I, I present in different order some of these uh, contents from the manual. Okay, I'm going to order, please accept the request. I hope you have taken the, the screenshot.
I'm just ordering because I know some of you are listeners. Okay. Okay, please accept the request right now that I have ordered. I'm just taking some Okay, then we, we're going to present these ideas to the class, okay? Okay, in your case, Morelia, hi. I need you to accept the request, Morelia.
Hello guys, how are you? ¿Todo, uh, ¿todo bien? Are you okay? No teacher, sí, ya estamos por terminar. Okay, perfect. Nice. I'm checking. I'm checking the rest of the of the team. So, so congratulations. Thank you. Sir. See you in a moment. Hello, teacher. Hello, my friends. Uh, everything okay? Um, yeah. Yes, teacher. The five step on. Um, ah, you um, are in, in the step number five. No, es. Estamos haciendo cinco pasos acerca del abordaje de un cliente. Sí, de, de cómo solucionar ese problema. Se te da esa situación, there is a situation. Hay que sol solventar en cinco pasos. ¿Cuál okay. sería uno? Acercarte al cliente, ofrecerle okay. otras opciones. Uh -huh. Sí, 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 Así, eso estamos háganlo. haciendo. Ent Ajá. Entendimos. Sí, sí, extenderse todo. mucho, algo concreto, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, thank you. Sí, yes. Pero, pero la pregunta del millón es, eh, ¿sería una respuesta por cada inconveniente o, solo, o nos enfocaríamos en un problema? En un problema, one problem. Seleccionen un problema y a ese van a solucionar. Bye. Excelente, Bye. gracias. Ok, okay. perfecto. Ok, see you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hello, girls. Hello, teacher. Everything okay? Yes. yes. We finish. We finish. You are procedure. you are you are talking about the life, about love, about money, about <laughs> other things. Yes. No. <laughs> giving advice. Okay. Good. The point is tips. After you're going to give me tips. Okay. So you finished, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Five steps. I don't know if that is. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. Remember that you can explain these steps or just read them, because what what matters is that there is an order. How okay. you can give a solution. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. See you in a moment. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Roxana, do you Hola. want do you want me to 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 Explain. Okay, Maho and, and Robert, I know that you have finished. I'm just checking the rest of the teams. Okay. I, I was going to enter in your uh, uh, breakout room, but, but okay, no problem. I'm just checking one more and I'm coming back in a moment, okay? Okay. Perfect. My in a few minutes, my my maid work or or send the order correct, maybe. Ah, uh, yes. Or mm -hmm. it's going to go to change your order. Don't worry. Yeah. Hello, guys. How are you? Hello. Are you about to finish? Everything okay? Yeah, also teacher. Okay. What are number of step are you working on? Uh, number four. Oh, number four, okay. You're about to yes. finish. I'm going to give you like one minute and something, okay? Or two minutes and try to finish, okay? And don't complicate. Okay. Perfect. Okay, thanks. Okay, see you in a moment. Okay. Um... Entonces...
Okay, welcome back. I know that some of the teams, well, some of you finished quickly, but some others were working on their answers and they there were some details that they were like uh, completing. So uh, here we have how to use adverbs in transition expressions. Um, here we have transition transition words, but I'm waiting for the other. Okay, welcome back. Um, I know that you have uh, you are ready with your answers, the five steps or five uh, sequences in which you give a solution or you handle a problem or a difficult uh, customer or situation. So, for these answers, for your answers, we're going to use adverbs and transition expressions. For example, the transition words are used to connect phrases or sentences. They express sequence and progress from the idea to the next, okay? So it is like how to, how to give order sequence and to sound like uh, to, to sound like fancy sonar más pues, elegante when these words are used at the beginning of a sentence they are followed by a comma okay like first you have to give option to the customer after that uh, you have to take the payment afterwards you have to take the payment then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer finally the customer signs and receipt and you keep a copy, okay? We can use this, okay? First, after that, then finally. Afterwards, afterwards, it's similar that after that, similar. Okay, we're going to start with uh, Denise team because um, we're going, Denise is going to have a meeting, right? At nine. So maybe we can start with you and then the others, please. Um, Denise, you were waiting, you were working with, let me check. With me, teacher. Roxana, okay. Roxana. Who is going to participate in this case, Roxana or Denise? I'm, I'm going to read. Okay, I will need, uh, Roxy, okay, Roxana, I will need you to please uh, text in the chat um, all the, the sequences, okay? Write the sequences or the steps in this case, and then we're going to well to check them. Please, text. I know that some of you already have your ideas, your steps in in Microsoft Word or in WordPad or in another part. Okay, so you can copy and paste. It is easier. Copy and paste. I'm going to wait for all your answers. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Roxana. I will. I will write your the the, the steps. Okay. The steps. Okay, go ahead, Denise. And the others, please. Um, uh, the same. Copy and paste in here in the chat, so I can uh check your pronunciation and also I can monitor the words that you have used, the phrases. It is important the the writing. So that's it. Okay, here we have the first. And uh, Roxana, you're going to read it, right? Yes, it. Okay. Procedures to deal with an angry yes. customer in pedidos yeah. ya well. Very concrete example. Okay, go. Yes. First, is apologize for the inconvenience. Um, as for the customer ID. After that, confirm the customer's name. Also, ask for the 
time that the order was received. Mm -hmm. And finally, offer a free dessert or a bonus in the app. In the app, yes, in nice, app. yes. Uh, if you notice the the steps from one to four, it is like a normal process to record and to reflect that you are taking the information from the customer. But step five, as you mentioned here, it is like you are giving two options, right? Well, we it is difficult to find a solution, but you can say to the customer, okay, here you have two alternatives. Select one. You have a free dessert or a bonus in the app. I know that there are some customers that are kind of complicated, but there are some others that they can accept, like yes. kind of relax. Thank you. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for the rest of the teams, I'm waiting for your answers, please. Uh, and uh, Roxana and Denise, you took number one, right? A customer is angry because his food yes. was not number delivered. one. No, not delivered on time. Uh, yes. The food was the correct one. The order was the correct one, but the time was the problem. Yes. So that's the it. time. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay, okay. Let's move to the other. The other team, Ma Majo. Okay, Majo. Who is going to read? Because you were working with. With Robert. With Robert. Okay. Yes. Who is going to to read? <laughs> Uh, Robert is first, and I follow. Okay. Perfect. I like it. Okay, Robert. Okay. The problem is a customer is calling upset because he received the ground delivery. First tip. Uh, first, greeting and try to keep calm and listen how the customer feels. Yeah. The second step, then offer an apology for the mistake. Mm -hmm. Step three. Provide alternatives, confirm the correct order if is possible, provide courtesy for the error. For mm -hmm. a step after that, send the correct order to the customer with the courtesies offered. And finally, say goodbye, indicating that we are trying to, to provide you with the best service for future purchase and that we are still waiting for your preference. Yeah, very nice. It it sounds like if you have like kind of experience about this, because it is like, yeah, it is very important. Number one, the first, uh, listen, try to keep calm and uh, how notice how the customer feels, right? Because the customer are very angry. And if they got or they see that or they listen that you're paying attention is, well, very important. Thank you. Good point, courtesies, and to send again, right, the correct order. Okay, I know it is kind of complicated when maybe they are in, they are hungry, they want to, they are starving, they want to eat. But okay, good options, very with, well with diplomacy. I like it. Thank you. And what about the others? Because we have just two answers. Okay, I'm waiting for the others. You. Simply text it. Ustedes envíen. Así después lo vamos leyendo, ¿verdad? In order. Because remember that it takes time and we have some other, well, even I have some listening here, right? So um, I'm waiting for the others. Freddy's. Okay, Freddy's is more than ready. You were working with, let me check. Albert, right? Jorge Alberto. Yeah. Okay, who is going to read? Or the two participants are going to read? I don't know. Depends on you. Yes. Okay. Read? Okay. A customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. Step number one. We are sorry for the inconvenience. Step number two, short snack for the inconvenience. Step number three, your food will be ready in a few minutes. We have the delight as it's very crowded. Step number four, your meal is ready. Bon appetit. 
A step number five. For the inconvenient, will we will give you a discount. Okay, thank you. Uh, it is like different, but good because it is like a dialogue. Not dialogue, it is like the phrases that you can use, and but the steps are here. Yeah, thank you. Like we're sorry, so you are greeting and listening what the customer is saying, right? Sure, snacks for the inconvenience. So you're giving courtesy, right? And uh, like asking for patience. Mm -hmm. And also at uh, the last point, uh, you will give a discount, right? And people like and people love discounts. Thank you, Albert and Freddy. Very good. Okay, thank you. Okay, what about the others? Because I'm going to prepare the listening, but I need the other, your work, right? Okay, let's see who else. Okay, we have also Brandon and Morelia, I guess, and Ernest and Miguel. I guess we have two more, two teams left okay but i know that they are preparing their answers we're going to read them vamos a leerlas siempre envíenlas always send your answers but in order to advance with the time uh, i'm going to play an audio i'm going to play two times right so be ready if you want take notes or you can pay attention but i recommend you to write the words or phrases that you can understand. Mientras espero la respuesta, ¿verdad? De Miguel con compañía, ¿verdad? Y de Brandon. Ok. I sent the... Ah, ok. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Ernest, right? Okay, who is going to read? Ernest or Miguel? No, or I don't Alexis know. Did you? Ah, I'm sorry, Alexis. Did you see? <laughs> sorry. Uh, just one Alex. or every week? Depends, every... depends on you. If you want to say all of them because you were working with Morelia, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, okay, depends on you. Uh, I write every. Okay, first. Uh, first, offer an apology after that. Offer a dessert or a discount on your next order. Number two, first, introduce myself as the manager and ask how can I help you. Mm -hmm. Number three, give an apology and change the plate of food. And number four, first, give an apology, finally say the, we're going to change. The order in a few moments. And number five, uh, first apologies and uh, and uh, help take orders. After that, open another cashier. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I guess let me check. You are. You are based on the situation number five, right? A group of customers are getting upset. Or. Sorry? Yeah, you are, your answer is based on the situation number five. Or, yes, right? Yeah, no, it's... Uh, number four. Uh, no. Todas, es, es una por una. Una respuesta ah, para one cada and uno. one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you try to include all the situations and give like some parts of the steps, right? For each one. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon. And what about Ernest? 
I don't know who is going to read it, Ernest or Miguel. Me, teacher. Okay, Ernest, please go ahead. The question is, a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, first tip, inter inter intervene. Intervene in media. Intervene in media. In, in in immediate immediate or you can say immediately okay immediately, immediately. Mm -hmm. okay uh step two try to calm the customer then yeah. invite him to an office apart and speak about the issue yeah after that call the employee and together look up for our solution if it doesn't work call the police yeah, actually, there are a lot of violent and rude people. Uh, they are having problems from different aspects of their life, and they have they want to to project their negative energy on a person or a, a situation, and that's it. So, yeah, of course, there is an option to call the police if the things are getting worse. Right? Thank you, Ernesto. Okay, and we go to listening. Please pay attention. This is a very short audio. Okay. And I'm going to play it twice. So here we go. I don't know. This, this player is kind of. of weird, but well, let's see, here we go now. There is a miracle called friendship that dwells within the heart, and you don't know how it happens or when it even starts, but the happiness it brings you always gives a special lift, and you realize that friendship is God's most precious gift. One more time. The miracle of friendship. There is a miracle called friendship that dwells within the heart. And you don't know how it happens or when it even starts. But the happiness it brings you always gives a special lift. And you realize that friendship is God's most precious gift. Okay. Any... Opinions, words, phrases that you got from this? I agree with the audio. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. you agree. Okay, any Friendships. special part? Friendship is a special gift. Mm, yeah. Yeah. It's a special gift. Definitely. Yeah, it's, it's in, in, uh, invaluable. How do you say in English? Invaluable. Invaluable. Yeah. Or you can say worthy. Worthy is with a lot of value, como que, va, que vale bastante, o algo así, sí. valeroso, <clears throat> or even as say, o oh, como dice Thor, digno, worthy, I'm worthy, so that's it. Yeah, and even it is it's complicated to find uh, real friends, but when you got it, yeah, you are, you have a very important part of, uh, yeah, uh, of friendship, love in your life. Okay, any other person, words, vocabulary? Maybe let's see here, Freddy's or Miguel. No, Freddy's. One more teacher. One okay, I'm going to play one more time. Maybe you can have it is like 20 seconds. I know it is kind of fast. Let's listen again. One more time. The miracle of friendship. There is a miracle called friendship that dwells within the heart, and you don't know how it happens or when it even starts. But the happiness it brings you always gives a special lift. And you realize that friendship is God's most precious gift. Mm -hmm. 
one word, two words. Maybe majo or yeah. It is about a miracle yes. called friendship. You don't know even it start, and the friendship is a God most precious gift. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's the last part. Okay, yes. And well, she uses some not common words, right? Okay, thank you, Maho. Anyone else? Teacher. Robert. Uh, I think this is very interesting audio because uh, really we don't know when the friendship uh, happens and we don't know when it starts. And in the audio, say the miracle of friendship. And I, I agree in, for this expression, it's a really miracle. Okay, definitely it is. Thank you. Thank you, Roberto. Okay, I want to make a question to you, to all of you. Do you consider that you can have friends in your job? Do you think you can have friends in your job? If you say yes, do this. Like, like, like this. El thumb up, pulgar arriba. If you consider no, I need you to select the other thumb. That is thumb down. I'm looking for that. I don't look at, yeah, here it is. Okay, I want to see who consider. Thumb up, yes, thumb down, no. Do you consider you can have friends in your job based on your experience, based on the area you work, based on the environment, the type of people, okay? I don't know, maybe Robert says yes, okay? Could it be? Okay, Maho says yes. No problem. Hasta le prestan pistas. Relax. She has some loans, money loans. Thank you. Uh, Ernest, yeah, no problem. Ernest says yes. Okay, Morelia says no. Right, Morelia? You th Miguel says yes. No problem. You can have friends. Okay, Morelia, tell us. No, no real friends. Or maybe just uh, partners, colleagues? No, in my case, in my experience, I mm -hmm. just have uh, partners because everyone is taking care of, of our um, back. Yes? Mm -hmm. Todos mm -hmm. están como protegiendo saving, sus espaldas. Saving their back. Saving their back. Yeah, yeah, they are doing what they... Yeah consider good for them they so that, they are friends but they are not my friends okay they are maybe between them they could be friends okay good point and it happens yes that's it Freddy's you say no it is difficult Freddy's no no problem is the work is the work it's... Yeah, it, it is like you have one objective, go to work, right? And uh, sometimes there are some works in which or jobs that it is difficult to have a good relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No relationship. <laughs> no, no. Entiendo bien. <laughs> okay, no habría mucha verdad, afinidad sometimes. Okay, thank you, Fredis. We have okay, some other Roxana. No, you say no. No, I agree with Morelia. In the work, I agree. We I agree. Have only, yeah, I am, I am agree. Because in the work, we only are partners. Okay, your partners, your colleagues. Okay, you work yes. together. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is, yes, you don't select your partners. It is like the company hires. This, 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 okay. work together, okay? Yes. Work together, uh -huh. and, but friends, you select your friends. But in some cases, could it be that you can meet 
you can know a person that he is a good person. You can say, well, he or she can be my friend. Okay? It happens. It is not common. It is not common, but mm -hmm. it can happen. That's, for example, in some companies, there are some, there you can get your boyfriend or girlfriend or like former relationships in companies. I don't know if you agree, but it could be like strange and difficult, right? So, well, it happens. Okay. This is a part of the audio, the miracle of friendship. Okay. Miracle called friendship that dwells with the heart, and you don't know well how it happens. Yeah. And the last part friendship is God's most precious gift. I know. The real friends, you can count with the fingers on your hand, right? Because you can, it is difficult to say, I have 25 friends. Well, you can have like good people in your life, but real friends, they are few. Okay, well, let's continue. In this case, I'm going to, okay. What about if we go with what's the name of the song? And let me check who was in charge of the song of tune. Let me check who was. Robert, you were, right? I don't know if you are ready. Right now? Yeah. Are you okay? Okay. okay. I will try to share the screen. Yeah, let's see. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can find that option in the middle, in the low bar, the downside. Okay. Let me check something. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Here we have. Okay. Uh sorry. It's not it is not the the, no, the first one. The one no. that you want. Okay. Okay. I... Okay. Ahora sí. Okay. Okay, yeah. Do you know this song? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. The song uh, say, saying I love you is not the words I want to hear from you. It's not that I want you not to say, but if you only knew how easy it will be to show me how you feel. More than words is all you have to do, make it real. Then you wouldn't have to say that you love me because I'll really know. Yeah, good song. Yeah, I know what song it is. What about the others, Freddy? Remember when you were in love in high school? I don't know, maybe. Or Maho, when you were in love sometime. Yes, it's more than words. Okay, more, more than, words. than words. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. from... The band is extreme. I guess it's extreme. extreme. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Go ahead, my friend. You're doing good. Okay. Uh, I will try to explain some elemental categories. Please. Um, Se ve la siguiente diapositiva? Yeah, pronouns. Yes. Pronouns. Okay. Yeah, we can see. We can we can uh, find some pronouns, for example the subject pronouns I, and this is object pronouns. Object pronoun. You, yes. Object pronouns, and this is object pronouns. Yeah. It is an object pronouns, or is a subject pronoun. I'm not sure. 
Yeah, you're doing good. Okay, this is all the pronouns in this part of the lyric. Some verbs, the verbs are love, is, want, hear, one, say, new, be, show, feel, have, do, make, have, and know. That's correct. Perfect. Love. Make is an irregular verb. Definitely irregular verb. No, it's an irregular verb. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same way, some conjunctions. Not, but, if, that, and mm -hmm. close. Yeah. Okay, next one. Adjectives, only we can find two. How? Because, sorry, easy. Mm -hmm. Because easy, easy modify to it mm -hmm. and real. Mm -hmm. That's it. Just one detail is adjective. It is a C, B, after the E. Mm. Adjectives. But okay. that's okay. Thank you. Do we have more? Adverbs. So adverbs. Mm -hmm. I find not. Mm -hmm. How? And already. Okay. In article, only I find one. Mm -hmm. Done. Thank you. Yes. And finally, proposition. Some proposition. From, to, and then. Mm -hmm. And some auxiliary verbs, auxiliary verbs. It's, will, and have. Because it's a con contraction. A contraction. Mm -hmm. It is a contraction. Okay. And that's all. Okay. Wow. Claps for you, my friend. Thank you. Very nice. Okay. Uh, it is. It is like maybe easier for you to do it in that format because it is the same lyric, but you're just changing the color, right? It is like, yeah, easy for you. Yeah. Good. Remember, this depends on Thank the you. creativity that you have or your logic. Thank you, Robert. Uh, very nice. So here we have Roxana and Roberto. You are done with this. So thank you so much for your participation. Um, here we have, well, Morelia. Could you do it tomorrow? Hello there. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Could you prepare your song for tomorrow? Okay. Okay. Remember one song, a special song in your life. I don't know. Or there. I don't speak in Come English, on, but... Morelia. Come on, Morelia. One. If you <laughs> know, you can ask to your mom or your family which one do they recommend you. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do it. Yeah, please. Remember that we have special songs, special music. And let's continue. Well, in this case, we have just 30 minutes and we say goodbye. We're going to finish. But after, we're going to talk about this. What is the most dangerous thing you have done? Um, remember, especially when you were young, younger, because you are young, but younger is a couple of years ago. Maybe we have bad ideas or difficult decisions that we have taken. But come on, let's say one of the most dangerous things you have done. It could be maybe a rover. I mean, if there was a thief. Uh, if there was an accident, if there was a car crash or a problem, a health problem, I don't know, it could it be, or arguing or fighting with some violent people. Okay, go ahead. Especially, it happens, especially when we are in high school. But even when we are adults, it happens as well. So please, I need you to share your anecdotes or experiences in the chat and then we're going to read them 
remember that we can have dangerous situations in different aspects. For example, you can uh, have like a choking moment. Choc es cuando te estás torsionando. Choc. Okay, that's another. Or even when you have a disease, an enfermedad, a difficult disease that you were in the hospital maybe, or you were about to die because any other reason. Yeah, that's it. And remember that a couple of years ago, it was all the last year, even it was kind of uh, kind of dangerous places here in Salvador. I was victim of some robbers. Robbers es ladrones, igual que thieves. No estoy diciendo robertos, no. Robbers is uh, similar to thieves. Yeah, no digan que Roberto. Why? Why are you saying that? And that's it. In the center of San Salvador, that happened to me. Yeah, I was. I was very young, but come on. You have some other anecdotes that you can share? Depends on you. We're going to wait a little bit. And please uh, share your anecdotes, stories, or your experiences. Okay, here we have the first ones. Hey, Majo, you're going to be the first one, please. And then we go with Morelia. Okay. Um, in March of this year, I fell asleep while um, driving home. I crashed my car. The week uh, had been very difficult at university and work. I felt tired. Fortunately, my car did not break down. And mm -hmm. nothing happened to me, even though I was driving without seat belt. Come on. And, and did you have like a, a hit or did you hit like with your no. head? Or no, no, I forget put in the in the photograph, but the police asked me for a girl because the people saw a girl with me in my car, but I'm mm -hmm. alone. Sure. Maybe <laughs> there, was, there was uh, that was your angel. <laughs> maybe i think <laughs> you killed your angel okay okay, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay uh, Maho. very that's more common than we think yes. once i was in the same situation but i didn't crash because i was waiting in the red light in the semaphore in the oh. traffic light i was like waiting and i fell asleep like this and then then where the, the others were even shouting and yelling at me hey come on what are you waiting for and i i woke up and, but yes it's i was very um worried so i went to a guest station i bought some sodas so, some drinks just to, to to wake up completely so yeah do uh, did you hit any other car or a tree no, or... uh, my accident was just in front of uh, Jardín del Recuerdo. Okay, yo, uh, you I... were going to direct to the place. Directly. I I driving to Comala... Comalapa Highway. 
Yes, thank you. Do the uh, way from to the airport, and my oh, car was to the to the other side. To the other um, side, opposite yes. side. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, fortunately, nothing worse happened. Yes. Maho, and you are here to tell your story. Okay. Yes, well, be you. be careful for the next time. Come on. Yes. Um, I'm using always before that seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank God. Okay. Very interesting, Maho. Okay. Uh, Morelia, what about you? And then we go with Albert. Hi. The most dangerous thing was four years ago painting my parents' house because I broke my ankle falling from a ladder. Okay. And wow. And after this, you are okay, or do you have some pains? Did it hurt? I have pains and platina mm -hmm. in my ankle. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And yeah. now I'm I'm painting my house and I'm painting with with um uh, scarlet. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now you 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 pay more attention to everything and it happens accidents at home it, it, it very but very uh, common right yes so, i'm not using later no <laughs> <laughs> well the now you got the le the lesson okay thank you morelia it happens on even when we are um you are mixing for example the the painting with thinner Sometimes if the, the painting is from oil, it is kind of dangerous if the thinner or you have the gas uh, liquid or you have some other solution, it can pick you to, to, to your, your face. There are different types of accidents that we can have. Thank you, Morelia. We go with um, Albert and then Brandon. Come on. Okay. Albert. My dad and I drove, drove a friend car I went out on the road in moment of machismo. Um, they had a, like a, 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 a rational. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess you were young, right? Because driving a vehicle without experience is kind of risky, right? And well, did you have any uh, accident, Alberto, or just you were like about to have an accident? No, no. Okay, nice. Thank God. Okay, uh, good, Albert. Brandon and then Miguel. Okay, Brandon. Uh, the most dangerous thing I have ever done is a motorcycle accident because a uh, crane took my off the rail, the rail, and I and I flew about ten meters. Wow, ten meters! You were. How, how was your speed? How fast were you? Were you riding your bicycle? Yeah, maybe sixteen kilo. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Sixty kilometers, fixing kilometers or miles. Ah, uh -huh. well, kilometers. Yeah. 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 Well, you were not so fast, but what about the other car? crashed on you the car hit you yes, or not um, no se, se, se fue. okay no no i mean a car crashed you the chocon carro okay a car hit yes you. Uh, una grúa me sacó del, wow del did you broke any part of your body your arm your legs ankle elbow or something like that no uh, only uh, raspones. Okay, okay. Yeah, some ones, superficial ones, verdad? Yeah, yes. Superficial, okay. Okay, so that, that's why it's very important to have security. Yes. Um, some complements that you use, right, in your knees, okay? So that's it. Thank you, Brandon. Well, thank God you are alive. But that was really <laughs> dangerous. You. And matters, it's a lot of, a lot of distance. Yes. That you were on the air, you were like Superman. Only solo que deslizándome en la calle. Yes, can imagine. 
Okay, thank you, uh, Brandon. Mm. Eh, Miguel and Robert. Okay, Miguel. Okay. Uh, when I was 10 years old, I liked to slide from a hill in a, wood, a wooden box until reach the end to see how much emotion we could feel and we love, love it with my cousin. But now I release that it was dangerous. Dangerous, yeah. I can imagine that it was a hill and in the past we, we didn't have a lot of toys that we have now, even bicycles. Uh, when I was uh, like a kid, uh, it was few bicycles in my neighborhood. So yes, uh, kids in the past used to invent different forms to have fun, different yes, yes. Uh, inventions yes. like this. Okay. Yes, yes, and I, we, yes, we hit uh, other some things, but we didn't love, love at what wasn't happening because we were young and wanted to live life. Yeah, when we are young, we don't care. We say, okay, this is fun and let's do it. Yeah. And there is always a kid who have a kid who has like ideas. Hey, let's do this. Come on, let's do this. And yeah, we do it. Okay. Thank you, Miguel. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I guess all of us have done one of these things. Uh, Robert and Fredis. Okay. This is a very embarrassing for me. And but I must to ask that on one occasion I drove drunk for eight hours. Wow. And that occasion I traveled from Puerto Varas, Guatemala to the capital of the city. And I feel very sleepy along the way, but I managed to arrive safely. Wow. You know what? Eight eight hours is too much time. It is a lot of time. Yeah, so I can imagine. Well, you were drunk, but it is like of common, but it is not correct, right? But it usually happens. Maybe Maho was like this, but she went, she didn't want to say that, but okay. No. Uh, <laughs> okay, no kidding, Maho. I know that you, you don't do anything of that, okay? So, well, one point, one positive point that it was at night so the streets or the highways were free no cars right that's something good and but you have good resistance because eight hours and not to fall asleep yes so well it was very but very dangerous Roberto so I well we that. <laughs> the next time you have to drive 16 hours okay Okay, thank you, Roberto, for, for sharing. I know that sometimes we, we are like kind of embarrassed, but yeah, things happen. You have anecdotes for your kids and your grandkids. Uh, Fredis and Ernest. Okay, Fredis. Okay, the most dangerous is when I was a little, we used to play jump from the second floor of building to the tree next to it. Mm -hmm. I don't imagine it was dangerous hasta el momento. <laughs> Until now, yes, I did this. And we used to play as Power Rangers. We were supposed to be Power Rangers and we, or Spider-Man and you were jumping. Yeah. Come on, yes. imagine Freddy's fell down and hit your head on the, the ground. Uh, yeah yeah but at that time you say no nah, it's a game come on well okay, it's, so... <laughs> yeah very it's dangerous not, it's not even imagine the dangerous problem mm -hmm. is the children mm -hmm. uh, hitting having an accident no you yeah. don't think about having an accident similar the to me mm -hmm. the power it, ranger <laughs> yeah you remember ah you're playing to be a power yeah. rangers okay and, <laughs> but imagine now our kids we mm -hmm. we wouldn't let our kids do that right we say no come on that's dangerous hey don't do that but yeah when we were kids in the past 
He didn't care. <laughs> Thank okay. you, Fred. Thank you. Ernest. Hello. Um, this, this year, I, uh, the most dangerous is right on wrong way by a street I didn't know. Mm -hmm. It was in uh, the urban area? It was in the city? Yes, in the city. Uh, around 10, 10 uh, quadras. Blocks. Ten, yeah. Blocks. 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 Right. Uh, yes, yes, a lot. This is a big distance. 10 blocks. Yeah. Okay. And good for you because uh, the other cars were not so fast or let you go because there are some other cars they just pass and they are kind of fast. And they don't care about if you know the streets. Okay. So, yeah. yeah, it's very dangerous. Or even another motorcycle or a person. Well, especially yeah. motorcycles. Well, thank you, Ernest. So we have to pay attention, especially when the street that we don't know. There are a lot of streets that, well, we don't know. So thank you. Thank you so much for all your experiences. I can see that you have lived. Realmente han vivido, but <laughs> Okay. So let's continue with the last part. And um, we're going to finish with this. We have just 13 minutes. Um, I'm going to explain about adjectives, okay? You, well, some of you have texted me and you have told me that, yeah, you have an idea of what is an adjective. And you have like an, an idea of what is an adverb, but it is like very, very important to have it clear okay i'm going to explain this just in like four minutes and then we're going to have some exercises to understand it clearly as i told you like two classes ago there are different types of adjectives some adjectives describe people physically or related to personality personality Okay, yeah, it happens. But we have some other adjectives. Let me check, no. I'm going to present a list of adjectives. And I'm going to present in this uh, class because the next week we're going to study some other adjectives. For example, okay. Look at this. Here we have adjectives in the base form. And here we have comparative adjectives. And here we have superlative adjectives. Tonight, we're going to focus on comparative adjectives. Okay, we're going to focus just on this. Okay, just a moment. Here we have Alex. Hello, Alex. You have your anecdote, right? Could you read yours, please? Alex Enoch Ramirez, are you there? You heard me? Yes, go ahead. Eh, teacher, disculpe el español, pero es que tengo muchos problemas aquí con el Inter. Y es extraño, tengo como 20 megas, pero... It happens, it happens, my friend, no problem. Okay, could you read? ¿Podrías leerlo, please? Yes. Mm -hmm. eh, the most dangerous? Eh, okay. Uh, the most dangerous thing... Ding, ding, ding. The most dangerous thing that has happened to me is going through wound healing due to a wound infection after appendix surgery. Yeah, wow. You have appendix surgery and you were, yes. and that wound uh, was infected. Isn't yes. that the way? Yes. Oh, come on. And yes, yes. And at the end, you have like, well, I guess, did you have another surgery or just healing? Solo te curaron, healing. Digamos que se absceso. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you. No sé cómo se dice. I'm sorry, se te corta. Hello? Sí, sí, es que tengo ese problema. No problem. Uh, mm, acceso in English? 
acceso. Uh -huh. Yeah, access o abceso. No. Ab abceso. Con... Uh, yes, it's abscess. Uh -huh. Abscess. Uh -huh. abscess. So you have that okay. problem abscess. related to the yes, job yes. surgery. Okay. Yeah. When, when, when he, when he do surgery, uh -huh. uh, the doctor is... made a mistake. The, the doctor yes, yes, yes. complicate yes, yes, the yes. process and some yes, doctors yes. do that yeah unfortunately we have problems we have yeah problems yes. with the, with some surgeries or some processes thank you uh, Alex for sharing yes of course it is complicated because a lot of people have died because of having a wound being infected una herida infectada and or after surgery or another thing Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Okay, eight minutes. We com we are going to finish with this. We have base form, la forma base de los adjetivos. Like, for example, bad, beautiful, eh, cheap, easy, famous. Yeah. We have comparative form and superlative. But now we're going to focus just on comparative form. Because the base form, you already know it, this one. You say, my boss is angry. My wife is beautiful. My husband is famous and so on. Okay, no problem because we can describe people. But in this case, we have the comparative form. When we use the comparative form, we use two people, two objects or two situations or two places. For example, let's uh, use this. Um, we have... Two types of adjectives. Tenemos dos tipos de adjetivos. Short adjectives. And long adjectives. Short are easy. Uh, cheap. Uh, new. Bad. Okay. Those are short because few words okay one syllable or two syllables but in this case we have some long adjectives for example modern uh, we have famous we have beautiful uh, intelligent and so on okay this is the difference short adjectives and long adjectives, okay? So when we want to compare, we have to use one word. It is, the magic word is done. Esa es la palabra mágica, done. When we have uh, short adjectives, a los adjetivos cortos, le agregamos er, we add er. She pair. Easier. Okay, here we have, for example, in this case of newer, but este es una excepción, this is an exception. Aquí se dice worse. Pero cuando vamos a utilizar, when we're going to use long adjectives, decim, es más fácil porque solo decimos more. More. And so on. More. more okay now let's this okay for example if we say one example um uh, horchata is cheaper than soda la horchata es más barata que la soda okay uh, easier English is easier than Chinese yes because Chinese is complicated okay now here we have some other examples using long adjectives uh, for example let's see Freddy's is more 
famous than Freddy es más famoso que quién? It's One more example. Beautiful. Okay, <laughs> Freddy is more beautiful. Okay. <laughs> than <laughs> Miguel. One example. Okay. Uh, another could it be, um, for example, smart TV is more modern than old TV. Okay, so something that I, I, I want to point, algo que quiero agregar es que aquí tenemos horchata, soda, English, Chinese, Freddy's, Miguel. Smart TV, old TV. For comparatives, we need we need two people, two objects, two places. ¿Ok? Entonces, el punto es que para los adjetivos cortos le agregamos ER. Y para los adjetivos largos le agregamos MORE. Pero siempre van a tener DAN. ¿Qué significa qué? Como la canción de ahora, MORE THAN WORDS. Más que palabras. Ok, so, um, dan en este caso significa que, y that también significa que, pero la diferencia es que el dan es un comparativo, ok, más que. Necesito que me hagan una oración, y con esa oración vamos a terminar la clase, ok, esa va a ser su, como, su, cual, como si pasáramos lista de asistencia, ok. Aquí tenemos una lista de ejemplos, angry, enojado, angrier, dan. Pueden poner dos personas. Por ejemplo, my boss is angrier than my wife. Ok. Um, my, my brother is father than my sister. Happy. My father is happier than my uncle. One example. Antiguo, older. My car is older than my motorcycle. Okay. And, and so on. Younger. For example, I am younger than my wife. One example. Okay. And I'm going to write one example here. Solo quiero una oración. Money or more. I'm sorry. Money or more. Uh, more. More. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at my example. My car is older than my bike. Mi carro es más viejo, más antiguo que mi bicicleta. Um, the other. Okay, me. <laughs> yes, me. Yes, you are. Good example. Morelia, come on. Okay. Okay, my friends, go ahead. We have just two minutes and we finish the class. Okay, Miguel, I am taller than Freddy. And Morelia, my sister is happier than me. I'm sorry for you, Morelia. We want to talk about later. Robert, my sister is angrier than my brother. Yes. Wow, I don't know why. Morelia, come on. Ernest, pupusas are more expensive than a year ago. Okay, good example. Good example. This is an exception. Es una excepción, porque normalmente se necesitan dos cosas para, para, para compararse. Pero en este caso está describiendo, but okay. What could it be? For example, you can say pupusas are more expensive than pastelitos. But yes, in this case, you are describing a situation. Okay, but that's it. Vicky says, my house is newer than, uh -huh, than my mother's house. Than my mother's house. Thank you. Alex, Enoch, my cat is fatter than my dog. Wow. Uh, Albert, the color, is, the color red is prettier than blue. Okay, the red color. Majo, so the stereo is better than a okay, fan. Mm. Mm. Yes, it is. <laughs> mm, I don't know. I love so the stereo, but okay, fan is good as well. Peppa but... Pig. 
<laughs> yeah, I like so terrible. Okay. Uh, the Camaro is than the Corolla. Okay, Brandon. The Camaro is faster. Sin el more. Mm -hmm. Los adjetivos cortos no llevan el more, solo faster. But yeah, is than the Corolla. Yes. Raquel, my brother is funnier than my sister. Okay, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, that's it, Brandon. Esa es la característica. Los adjetivos cortos no llevan el more, solo llevan el er que hace que se vuelva comparativo. Tomorrow we continue with exercises. Mañana seguimos con ejercicios, ¿ok? No problem, Brandon. Ok, eh, ya con esto paso lista. Morelia, si me puedes quedar ahora, please, for the one-to-one -one session. Yes, I can. Ok, wait after the class. My friends, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye bye, teacher. Have bye, good night. Teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Teacher. Yep. I'm sorry. Before I leave, uh, can no I problem. send you? Can I send you uh, uh, a problem that I have in the platform of with course. a task? If you can have a screenshot, send it. It is better. Send send it okay, okay. with a screenshot okay. and we're going to check. Okay, Dennis, no problem. Okay, thank you. Anytime. Okay, Morelia, so you are not happy. Come on. Hello. Hello, Morelia. Okay. Um, may I have the camera turn off? Yeah. Because I am I'm a mess right now. <laughs> no problem, Morelia. Okay. I know that you are you participate a lot and you are always willing to, to yeah to participate. So no problem. Okay, uh, Morelia. But tomorrow maybe I would like you to have your camera on. Okay. I will try, but I'm painting my house and I, I'm trying to, Come on, to do it. You are an artist. So, Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, Morelia, tell me. Um, we didn't have the session before, right? No, right? No, we. No. No, it's the it, first. The first time. Okay, tell me. Have you ever have taken English courses in another place, right? Because I can notice that your English is very fluent. Yes, I was studying in IFRCC. Mm -hmm. Some years ago, some some months ago. Oh, it's year. just recent. Okay. Yes, but I really liked the the classes, but the the classes was in the morning to mm. six AM to seven thirty AM. So okay. it was really tired and I couldn't. After some some months after that. Yeah, after that, uh, my partner in the, the world told me about English Corporativo, so I'm here trying yeah, okay. again. You, okay, nice. Good for you. Okay, tell me, how many, how many levels did you complete or you were about to finish all the levels in E4CC? I almost finished intermediate level. Nice, nice. Oh, well. Um, I guess that you have you have noticed a lot of differences related to the program in there and here, the methodology and the type of uh the type of yeah, the curriculum, I mean the manual it is kind of different, right? Um, you started here in English Corporativo in this level or in the previous one or in Beginners 4, 5? In the previous one, in Basic 4. Beginners, beginners 6, I guess it was. Because we have Beginners, Intermediate, and Advanced. And every level has 6. Uh, courses or six modules. Yes, mm -hmm. yes so, I, I start in basic and 
model six. Oh yes, 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 the mm -hmm. previous, the former one. Okay. Um. Well, I consider that you have a really good pronunciation, Morelia. And mm -hmm. you, your fluency is good. I like it. Even there are some kind of details that you can improve in your grammar, especially related to coherence in numbers. Okay, for example, when you say my classes was in my classes were, but some details, some details, oh, because okay. your, your English is really good. So um, thank you for, because you are, you connect on time, you participate. Um, I don't know if you have some difficulties with any topic or any grammar points or any, yes, any aspect studied so far. I have problems with the adjectives. I'm mm -hmm. trying to put attention in your when you're you're explaining, but it's confused to me because I get the ideas, but not no not not no se quedan in my cabeza. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Can remember, Morelia, that sometimes we understand some topics easily, very fast. But there are some topics that we need to reinforce and to study two or three times or more. Okay. Yeah. So, well, basically what I was explaining was that we have the adjectives. And in this case, we have the base form. The base mm. form. The base Sorry. form. Sorry, yeah. teacher. The, the problem not is uh, get the idea about adjectives or comparatives. That's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. The problem is adjectives and adverbs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't get the idea and and I I'm confused. Oh, okay. Because okay. adverbs and adjectives to me is the same thing. But uh, I know that it's different. Yes, okay. It is different because uh, adjectives mainly describe people, situations, places, but adverbs can affect ideas, the order of ideas. And there are some adjectives that goes at the beginning and at the end. But adjectives have just one place. So that's part of the difference. For example, Adverbs of frequency, the ones that you have used in uh, first, after, okay, then, okay. So it is like at the beginning of every idea. Van al inicio de cada idea. En cambio, okay. los adjetivos solo cumplen la función de describir. En cambio, acá te van como vinculando, van dándole sincronía. Or adverbs of manner. Te dicen cómo estás haciendo las cosas. Por ejemplo, correctly. You are pronouncing correctly. Está pronunciando correctamente. Okay. Okay. Uh, and so on. ¿Verdad? Y pues tenemos otras. Le voy a mandar, le voy a mandar esta imagen. Pero los adverbios los vamos a seguir estudiando. Okay. Igual que los adjetivos. I okay. get that you have just to, yeah, uh, check some of the, the examples, the exercises that tomorrow we're going to complete uh, adjectives exercises, okay? So you okay. can have another idea how to use it and you're going to notice the difference, okay? But okay. by now you're doing good and for the level you are okay. I hope you like the classes. I don't know if you consider that the, the questions are weird or are interesting or uh, help you to, to practice English? I don't know. I hope. The questions are inter interesting and I really like the, the classes. In the last uh, level, it was something like, uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, the, previous, the, 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 I, the, the previous. The uh, previous. The previous model because. ¿Puedo en español? Sí. Okay. Yeah. Tell me. Fue, fue algo como, no sé qué estoy haciendo acá porque fue, era el primer módulo y a veces no entendía como la, 
la cohesión de las clases y este fue, fue, un poco, fue un poco raro, no entendía muy bien la metodología de enseñanza y todo eso, pero ahora sí este, me siento más cómoda. Eh, Olvido que tengo una plataforma que trabajar, pero lo voy a hacer mañana. Y, este, o sea, sí, sí me siento cómoda y me gustan las clases también con usted porque sí entiendo, me explica y sí se toma como el, el momento para explicar ciertas cosas que son como clave para poder avanzar. Ok, me parece, Morelia. Creo que también sentiste en el módulo anterior eh, la gran diferencia en, en el tema de, del manual y los contenidos que son basados eh, prácticamente en aspectos laborales, en cuestiones así, sí, ¿verdad? Netamente formales. Ajá. En, a, en, en, en contraste a, a, al ritmo que traías, que era más de fluidez, más de interacción. Entonces, sí, me sí. imagino que, que el cambio fue un poquito... Drástico. Drástico. Uh -huh. pero, pero sí, el manual, eh, como es inglés para el trabajo, sí nos limita eh, a, a enfocarnos en procesos laborales, solventar soluciones y que pues puedan ser de, de utilidad laboralmente. Pero, si te das cuenta, intento adaptar ciertas actividades para que genere más fluidez y que la clase sea como un poco más interactiva y que hablen más ustedes que yo, sí, ese es el objetivo eso, eso está genial y, y me gustan estas clases porque acá estoy conociendo más vocabulario que de, de como idea principal para mí era eso aprender más vocabulario porque en en Inforce sí Sí me ayudaba bastante la fluidez, pero de repente me quedaba como en corto, uh -huh. porque no sabía qué más decir, porque no conocía más palabras. Yo acá sí, cuando intentaba hablar con los clientes que llegan a, a, a la veterinaria, era como de, ¿qué les digo? Si del, del tema que me rodea solamente les, les puedo saludar. Uh -huh. Y, por ejemplo, hubo una ocasión, que sabrá Dios cómo hice para explicarle a una gringa uh -huh. sobre unos trámites de exportación para sacar a su uh -huh. mascota. Y fue como de, tengo que leer y aprender más palabras con respecto ¿Sí? a mi trabajo porque no, es, no, no doy el ancho para mantener una conversación del, del área. Entonces, uh -huh. esto me está gustando bastante. Sí, de hecho, es parte del vocabulario técnico. ¿Verdad? De, de, de ciertos aspectos, procesos que se llevan y si te das cuenta, eso creo que es, es un tanto útil eh, con el tema laboral que puede, ¿verdad? Aplicar hasta cierto punto y tú investigas y te has, estás fam familiarizada con cierto vocabulario, pero tú tomas otras ideas por acá y sí, tú vas a ir solventando. Creo que lo que sí se puede trabajar en tu caso, Morelia, porque en la fluidez estás bien, en la pronunciación estás bastante bien, adquirir parte del vocabulario y, y eh, las conjunctions son bastante importantes que te van a servir, eh, un día de eso les voy a presentar el tema de las conjunciones, cómo unir ciertas ideas, con eso vas a tener para unir casi todas las ideas que tú quieras y eso te va a ayudar a desenvolverte mejor todavía, porque sé que lo estás haciendo bien pero te va a ayudar más, así que yo intento eh, buscar otro material extra para que les ayude pero ya me estás dando ciertas ideas uh -huh porque también traigo, sí, tengo otro material también para cómo atender ciertos clientes, reservaciones, que yo sé que mucha gente ya está acostumbrada, pero otros no. Entonces uh -huh. los ritmos de todos son diferentes, pero me alegra que te estén gustando las clases, ese es el objetivo, que después de venir cansado del trabajo, pues eh, dos horas no es fácil, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. sé que le ponen empeño y, y yo también quiero pues eh, darles otras actividades que les distraigan un poco, ¿verdad, Morelia? Así que Cualquier cosa, si tienes duda, problemas con la plataforma, me mandas un screenshot, me, me, me dices, ahí yo también te puedo dar un poco de asistencia. Ok, ahí está mi número. Okay. Thank you, and thank you are Christo. doing good too. Thank you, thank you for all your words and for your well, participation and your positive attitude. Thank you, Morelia. So, have a good night, thank see you tomorrow. You. And remember your song. Okay. 
remember your song for tomorrow. Yes, I'm going to do it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night.